me. Now, why don't we bring Landecker in? We got to ask him about records. We got to ask him. Yeah, yeah. that's John. a good idea. Since we're talking good idea. about names. John, this is names. Uh, Come on. Can, do we have a, uh, here. I you, laugh at, John, John, you got to get I small. Love John. I love John. John, you want to sit down? Why don't you sit down? John's my friend. I laugh at everything. He's got a ball. too. That's a I'm a big I'm a big fan of you and John Records no, we're, we're all friends. We're all friends. <laughs> Joey and I used You're to all work. legends too. Joey and I used to work together We're at, at UIBG in Philadelphia. Mm. Yep. Yep. John, okay. it was John a, got a bigger audience though. So I started to hate him. Oh baloney. <laughs> That is not the truth. That is absolutely. We not had the truth. we had uh, dune buggies that we put out on the street. It was the greatest uh, greatest it, time. It was a wonderful time. We used to go out on the dune buggies after school and pick up kids. Now wait. That's well, I mean, not for, what happened at all. For ratings. <laughs> pick up kids. Yeah, we were the early we were at the early wave of the pedophile That's not generation. What I meant. <laughs> no. The station had dune buggy promotional vehicles. They also had a dragster, if you can believe this. We had Buckley Broadcasting brought a dragster. We had our own driver. We had dune buggies. We did high school assembly programs. We were everywhere. We did free concerts long before there were free concerts. We did a free concert with Leon Russell. What's an AM That's station right. doing a concert with Leon Russell like three weeks after Bangladesh? <laughs> concert in New York, if you can remember that, yeah. for those of you who are old enough. Yeah, it was great. Joy, was the, Joy is the most talented person I have ever worked with, ever. Oh, come on. It's true. Now, you know, Buckley Broadcasting, you know what's, what's great about the name? Remember what we used to call it? When we got so obsessed with these doom buggies and going out in public and meeting people, we got way away from doing radio. Shows. Oh yeah, radio. What's that? <laughs> so we call it Buckley Wheels and Broadcasting. Yeah. That? <laughs> it was the the station was only there as a tool for our party amusement. You know, it was something we did in between parties and promotions that we happened to go back and go on the air. But it was uh, great. How, how, how about the name John Records Landecker? Very you? easy. It's my mother's maiden name. It's in my birth certificate. Um, my grandfather was William J. Records in Franklin, Indiana. And that's the whole ball of wax right there. It took me a while to um, use it as a name on the air. Uh, and the inspiration for that was listening to uh, WCFL, uh, which was a top 40 station out of Chicago in the, let's see, this would be the mid to late 60s. Um, and all of the guys on the air there had some sort of hook. Barney Pip? The Barney Pip right. people, for instance. The Pip people, uh, Williams, Dick Williamson, Dick Williamson's world. And um, so it's just one of those things where you don't know where an idea comes from. And one day I just realized that Records was my middle name and I was a disc jockey, so therefore Records truly is my middle name. And I, exper I fully expected that this thing would expire as soon as everybody found out, and that'd be the end of it. But here we are, we're still talking about it. <laughs> and it's on my birth certificate. So, and nobody has records anymore. And no, you're right, and I'm not changing it to compact disc <laughs> or, or digital audio tape. If I did change it to anything, it'd be to download. Yeah. <laughs> John, John Download, download. Landa. Well, or right. else shotgun download. It's a shotgun. Right, yeah. there you go. Shotgun download, yeah. Or download Shotgun. <laughs> but that's it. That's I had a great it. story about John Lennon. I don't know. If you All right, now, yeah. now, wait. Shotgun Tom's got a story about John Lennon. You got to go to the floor. Yep. Oh, well, the yeah, but uh, I, that's okay. I got out of the way because I thought a two shot works better. But since we're on the floor, it's okay. Uh, <laughs> I don't know why people love this. I told this last night before uh, Joey and I passed out on the bed. <laughs> <laughs> on separate beds. Uh, anyway, I told this story, and uh, and he found it funny also. I can't figure it out, but I'll tell you, and you can determine if it's funny or not. Uh, Buzz Bennett and Rich Brother. Buzz Bennett was program director at K uh, CBQ in San Diego, and KHJ would always get the world exclusives. So evidently, Buzz Bennett had worked out a deal with Apple Records that uh, we would get the brand new exclusive John Lennon. Uh, song that was going to come out. We didn't know when it was going to come out because John Lennon was on his own schedule. But the record company promised us the first play of the John Lennon song, and then KHJ would get it the next day. So uh, we didn't know when it was going to happen. So, you know, a month went by, and all of a sudden, it was on its way down. We had, now uh, we made a big deal out of this. PSA Airlines flew the acetate down to San Diego from LA, okay? Then we had an armored truck going toward Limburg Field. 
with two motorcycle escorts, <laughs> and uh, we took it off the plane, put it in the armored truck, and 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 escorted it out to where the radio station was located, which was in Santee, okay, out in East San Diego County, where the where the towers were. Anyway, uh, the truck pulls up, and now you know we have alerted all the television stations, and they showed up. I couldn't believe it. So they, the, the 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 TV cameras were rolling. The truck came in. They followed the uh, the acetate into the and into the studio. Uh, Rich brother Robin uh, put it on a cart, and then he after he got it on on a cart, and if they, the TV stations were not allowed to watch the process. They were just waiting for it. So anyway, uh, he put it on a card and he wrote, with well, just a regular a pen, the title of the song. Just wrote it on the card. Get it into Shotgun Tom right now. So the TV cameras were set up on this side. I was a little nervous, man, because, you know, this is the world exclusive of the brand new John Lennon song, first in the world, right here on KCBQ. So anyway, he hands it to me, and I put it in the card machine. And I said, ladies and gentlemen, you've been waiting for a month. We told you we had the world exclusive of the brand new John Lennon song. You're going to hear it first before anybody else does in the world. The brand new John Lennon song on the Shotgun Tom Kelly Show right here on KCBQ. Here it is. It's Imogene. <laughs> of course, it was imagined. You should have seen the TV guy. I mean, it was nice. Uh, you think that's Imogene, funny? I think that's <laughs> I don't know why people think it's funny. Ladnecker laughed, and, uh, and uh, Joey Reynolds laughed, too. <laughs> Everybody's laughing. They laugh at my screw-ups. <laughs> Imogene, there's no... Yeah. There's no war. There's no war, Imogene. <laughs> in the, in the, the entire history of music would be changed. Yeah, it would. Yeah, Imogene. Right. All right, so when are we going to get Art for his birthday? we got to get Art for of something for his birthday. Good luck. How about this Well, Landecker has a, a mic. You know, actually, you know what? I'll, I'll send it to him. I have, um, I almost brought it, uh, and it won't mean anything except to Art, but that's good, I suppose, since it's his birthday. Um, back, way back in the day, even before I got in on it, they, what were those microphones that had? Uh, the, 7070X. Every, everybody's seen these. The round? The round yeah, microphone. 77. Yeah, 77. RCA 77. And sometimes right. you see pictures of the round microphone, and across the top of the microphone, they have the call letters of whatever station it was. Well, right. the first station I ever went on, uh, it's where I met Art, actually, in high school, was WOIA in Ann Arbor, Michigan. And for some reason, I have, and I don't remember how I got it, but I've kept it all this year. these years, is a WOIA mic flag that's made out of metal steel it's not plastic it's not fiberglass it's not something cheap it's solid one of the sides is is broken but it's really pretty cool and uh i was gonna bring it and then i looked at it and went no i've had it all these years and then i you know told art i said art i can't wait to tell you what i didn't get you for your birthday which i thought was sort of a really bad setup so uh i think i'll send it to him so that's what i'll throw in but i don't have it with me today art but It'll be in the mail. It's in the mail, as they say. Yeah. I got him a shirt and a hat without call letters on it. Without call letters? Yeah. Excellent. Good job. And underwear. Without call without letters? Without call letters. Or, maybe, or with call letters on it. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably the only thing he doesn't have with call letters on. You want this to stay on YouTube. We don't want to give the call letters. 